Hello friends, welcome to Vitish Academy. Today in this presentation, we are going to solve an example on mathematical induction. So let us prove 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus so on n terms is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 4. So we observe that here the nth term is a missing term. So first let us find the nth term of the series. Now let us consider the first factors in the series. So we have here 1, 2, 3 are in arithmetic progressions. Then we get the value of a as 1 and the common difference is given by t2 minus t1 which is nothing but the second term minus first term. So by subtracting here we get 2 minus 1 that implies we get 1. And here we already know that to find the nth term of the series which can be represented as tn is given by a plus n minus 1 into d. Now replacing the values of a and d we get 1 plus n minus 1 into 1. That implies we get here 1 plus n minus 1. So we can cancel over plus 1 and minus 1 and we get here n. And now let us consider the second factors of the series. So we have here 2 comma 3 comma 4 are in arithmetic progressions. So we get here the value of a as 2 and the common difference which would be 3 minus 2 that implies we get 1. And now let us find the nth term of the series. So we get here tn is equal to a which is nothing but 2 plus n minus 1 into d is here 1. That implies we get here 2 plus n minus 1. That implies we get here n plus 1. Now let us consider the third factor of the series. We have 3 comma 4 comma 5 are in arithmetic progressions and we get the value of a as 3 and the common difference would come as 4 minus 3 that implies we get here 1. So now let us find the nth term of this series. So we get here tn is equal to 3 plus n minus 1 into the value of d is 1. So we get here 3 plus n minus 1. So this would come as n plus 3 minus 1 would come as 2. So therefore the nth term of the series would be the product of all the nth term of the first factors, second factor and third factor. So we get here n into n plus 1 into n plus 2. So therefore we get the series as 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus 3 into 4 into 5 plus so on n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 divided by 4. And now let us consider this series as p of n. So here begins the principle of mathematical induction. So first let us prove that n is equal to 1 is true. And now by substituting n is equal to 1 in the left hand side we get here 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2. That implies we get here 1 into 2 into 3. So we get here 2 3 times as 6. Now let us substitute n is equal to 1 in RHS. So by substituting we get 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 divided by 4. That implies this would come as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 divided by 4. So we can cancel over here 4 in the numerator and denominator. So we get here 2 3 times as 6. So therefore we observe that LHS is equal to RHS and we can conclude that P of 1 is true. Now let us substitute n is equal to n plus 1 in the nth term of the LHS term. So by substituting we get n plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 1 into n plus 1 plus 2. So we get this as n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. So we get here the next term of the series p of n. And now let us add n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 on both sides of p of n. So by adding we get here p of n as 1 into 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 into 4 plus so on plus n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 plus n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3 is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 4 plus n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. Now let us simplify the RHS terms. First by taking here 4 as the LCM we get here n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 plus 4 into n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 3. And now let us take n plus 1 into n plus 2 as a common factor from both the terms in the numerator. So we get here n plus 1 into n plus 2 into n plus 4 into n plus 3 whole divided by 4. 
So, in the next step, this would come as n plus 1 into n plus 2 can be written as n plus 1 plus 1 into n plus 3 can be written as n plus 2 plus 1 and n plus 4 we can write as n plus 3 plus 1 whole divided by 4. So, therefore, we can conclude that p of n plus 1 is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. So, this was a basic introduction on how to solve an example on mathematical induction. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on mathematical induction on our website vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Till then, take care and bye.